In this video, I'm going to convince you that studying engineering is actually easy. And I'm making this video because whenever I tell people I'm an engineer or I've done an internship at NASA or I'm doing a PhD in engineering, the very first thing people tell me is, oh my God, isn't engineering so hard? And to be honest, that's what I thought too when I was a freshman in engineering and I was struggling in the introductory classes and thinking I'm never going to make it. All I kept thinking to myself is, oh my God, this is so hard. And then through meeting new people and trying new things and joining clubs and whatnot, one day I had a realization and it was a very powerful realization. And that realization is what took me on to do the internships I did and go to grad school and kind of figure out what I want to do out of engineering. But before I get into that realization, you want to make sure that you're studying the right engineering major. Because many people who think engineering is hard are actually just studying the wrong engineering. For example, someone who's doing electrical might actually deep down like things that are more hands-on and should be doing mechanical. Now, I do plan on making videos on the different kinds of engineering and how do you know which one's for you. So if you want to stay posted for that, you can subscribe to the channel. And you can actually leave a comment below and tell me what engineering you want to do and why you think it's the right one for you. All right, now on to the realization that I had. Well, it was actually two realizations. First part is many people before you have studied engineering and passed and succeeded and went on to be engineers. In fact, this year alone, more than a million people around the globe are about to graduate with engineering degrees. It means other humans with the same brain as you, same biology, same everything, and actually probably a lot less resources than you are able to do it. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear about a large number of people doing something, my first question is, why not me? Why can't I do it? And this actually brings me to the second part of the realization and that the reason why so many people are able to do it is because engineering or any college major really is something that is structured, that is well-defined. We invented engineering. We invented the scientific method and we invented the ability to invent stuff and such. When you go to any engineering program, you'll see that the courses are very well laid out, very well organized. And each course has a textbook that's been written long time ago, problem sets that have answers. Professor, you can ask questions, can't understand what the professor's saying. You can go online or you can go talk to your friends. In other words, it's very well organized, there's structure, and there's a lot of resources. So it makes sense that a lot of people are able to do it. Now, this brings me to the key idea here is that many people have the wrong definitions for hard and easy. In my opinion, things that are hard are things that are not defined. For example, life is hard because everyone's going through life for the first time and no one has any idea what's going on. But something like engineering is easy because it's very well defined, organized, it has been done before. Number of steps, you will get there. You just gotta put in the effort. So the key takeaway from this video is I want you to change your mindset about what is hard and what is easy in life. Look at the things that are structured, look at the things that are unpredictable. And I don't want you to equate hard with effort. Things worth having in life require effort, and there's just no other way around that. But what's nice is that some of the things that are worth having in life, such as an engineering degree, has a well-defined roadmap that you can follow, and plenty of people like myself that you can ask for help. So if you feel like engineering is hard or you're struggling with engineering, I challenge you to identify specifically what it is that you're struggling with and try to find a solution for that specific problem. You can even put it in the comments below and maybe me or other people in the community can help you figure it out. All right, now that we've talked about the easy stuff, I'm gonna actually go do something hard, such as knocking an aerial in Rocket League. Peace, love.